So, as once again we start things anew, we need to go find another of the special items. For that, we basically just need to head north from the cafe, so as to find the convenience store. I believe it's around here. Yeah, here's where we need to go. So yes, as usual, there's some good things in here. Health drinks, save point if you need it, first aid kit, I think. Yep, I can see it on the shelf back there. As long as I'm here, may as well clean the place up. But the important thing that we need is actually behind the counter. Here it is, sitting on the table here. Ooh, shiny. This is the channeling stone, a key item used to get the final secret ending. And now it's ours. So here we are at the house on Levin Street with a doghouse outside, and suddenly this locked door is open. The room within seems to be decorated like a Japanese dojo. And thus we find the katana! It's ours! The katana is a bit strange in the unlock requirements. There's this great debate over just what you have to do to get it. I've read that you have to get both a good and a bad ending, but here's the thing. After I'd gotten the bad ending, I used that very same game, my second playthrough, and reloaded older saves in order to go ahead and show the bad plus and the good ending. To go ahead and get all that out of the way. And even when getting the good ending on my second playthrough, the first having been good plus, it still showed me as unlocking the katana. So what this tells me is that it may just be you have to complete the game once on hard mode. Either way, it's ours now. The katana is a bit of a strange weapon to use, because every time you, uh, you attack with it, it jets you forward. So you have to adjust your battle timing. But if you get that right, this can actually be quite an effective weapon. Let's go try it out. The camera kind of likes to screw me over here, so I'm going to sneak over this way a bit. And then come back, because there's a groaner over here I can try using it on. Well, if he'd see me. Here, groaner. Oh, come on. Be a good dog and attack me. He keeps walking away from me. That is one effective weapon. I love it. I still would not recommend using it on air screamers. Uh, melee weapons, no matter how good, trying to use them against a flying enemy just... It rarely works out well for you. It does have some nice reach on it, but I still wouldn't recommend it. Air Screamers are better suited to death by firearm. But against most other things, it's quite nice. If you have the timing wrong, you can still get in trouble, so just... Be cautious about that part of it. Come on. You know you want to. Thing is, I have to be careful. I think there's two groaners over there. Yep, I see the other one too. Come on. The field of vision of Groners is rather weird. Are you just going to sit in the corner there? Wonder if I can dash in and slash you. Yes, yes I can. Okay, yeah, the katana is beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Oh, yes, we're going to have good times, this sword and I. <laughs> you 
Now, Mumble is a still annoying as all get out, but the katana can still do a nice job on them if you handle it right. Hassan, chop! So, yeah, that was actually rather effective. The thing to keep in mind with mumblers is, since the katana kind of jets you forward, they really love to prematurely do their little lunging fall at you, so you do have to be wary of that. So here on the roof of the Otherworld version of Midwitch Elementary, it's time for the first use of the Channeling Stone. Now, there really isn't anything to tell you where you need to use this, so you either have to pretty much try it everywhere, or look somewhere like GameFAQ to find out where you need to use it. <laughs> As if Silent Hill wasn't strange enough. So anyway, that's the first place that you have to use it. So before we resume bothering the local extraterrestrials, let's get the gas tank again, and go make the other choice. Let's pick up a chainsaw. This requires a bit of backtracking. You have to go all the way back down this street, back past the Balkan church as far as you possibly can. And there goes the church now. It is quite a trek to get this one. Bit further. Across this alley and over to Cut Right Chainsaws, where we can use the gas tank and pick up a chainsaw. And we seem to have a groaner right here ready to help us test this thing. Okay, so the chainsaw is another power tool weapon, so you have to take a moment to let it power up. Like the rock drill, it does cause constant damage as long as it's in contact with an enemy. The problem is it's not at the right level to where they can just jump into you and take damage that way. It's a bit more awkward to use. The attacks are nowhere near as focused. Huh. Maybe it's better against hospital staff that they're bigger targets so they can more constantly be in contact with it? I don't know. I'll give it a shot against them later. So anyway, one more thing I want to point out here. It just requires a bit of running. The town does love to make you run all over the place. But one nice thing is that they put so much detail work into it. All the different buildings, street signs, everything. It makes it feel like a real town. They could have been lazy, just put in a bunch of blank buildings, left out the signs, left out all the text that you can read on the signs and everything, names of stores and streets. They could have left all that out. But they didn't, and that really gives Silent Hill amazing atmosphere really do a good job of it. Oh, God's air screamers! Oh! Okay, so here's what I really wanted to point out. We can still pick up the rock drill. Once you gas up one of the two power tool weapons, it remains gassed up basically for eternity. So on future playthroughs, you can pick up the one you've already gassed up and thus have both of them. So that's rather nice. Because in our inventory, we have both the rock drill and the chainsaw now, both ready for action. Very nice.